uh, my dear students how are you all we are going to solve today assignment of students of SSC 2022 subject is mathematics third week this is already uh, question is you got the question already so we are going to solve it first question was determining the tenth figures number of coins the answer is tenth figures coin number is 55 and they have asked us to draw the figure so according to the stem according to the question we drew you have to do like this or you can make it closer these are the coins so total number 55 you can calculate and uh, follow like this way in the first row it will be one in the second row there will be two coins in the third row there will be three coins and in the fourth row four coins and respectively and at last in the tenth row there will be ten coins so solution of question B they have asked us to show that number of coins is n into n plus 1 by 2 they have asked what is the number of nth figure coins so this is a very simple question first of all according to the condition we can write number of the coins from there we found out a pattern is formed a sequence is formed a series is formed that is according to the summation of the numbers that is 1 3 6 and 10 so in the first figure we find out number of coin is 1 in the second figure number of coin is 3 then 6 then 10 so we can separate it and uh, those who have done already the partial summation they know how to do it properly yet I'm showing it in short way 1 we will write this term later first we dif uh, differentiate this number 3 6 and 10 3 we can write as 1 plus 2 6 as 1 plus 2 plus 3 10 as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and 1 plus 2 we can convert it to 2 into 2 a 2 plus 1 divided by 2 then this one is 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2 then the 4 plus 4 plus 1 by 2 and same way we can write the first term as 1 into 1 plus 1 divided by 2 and if we solve simplify it we will find the results 1 3 6 10 respectively so it is following like uh, for fourth figure it is like 4 plus 4 plus 1 for the third figure it is 3 plus 3 plus 1 for the second figure it is 2 plus 2 plus 1 the first figure number of coins is 1 plus 1 plus 1 every time 1 is increasing so we can for, we can see in terms that means the nth figure that is in natural numbers are present so it will be summation up to from 1 up to nth term so 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n it will be n into n plus 1 divided by then question number two comes and it was end of question number one question number two is they gave a pattern that pattern is following Pascal's triangle so we can see number one two three four four rows are there according to this rows we can see the first row number of uh, points are one and one the terms second is one two one then one three three one one four six four one they have asked for n is equal to five number of second column how many numbers are there and how what are the terms so we see every time it is adding and we get the next term so the last will be first we'll write one then the second term will be summation of one and four one plus four then four plus six is ten then six plus four is ten four plus one is five and at last one the second part of question b they have asked us from the third column to show that nth figure nth row supports 2 power n so first four figures are there for n is equal to 1 we saw the summation of coins the summation of term is 2 from the second row second column we find out it is 4 for the third column sec third row it is 8 the summation of coins is 16 so we can write 2 as 2 to the power 1 4 as 2 to the power 2 8 as 2 to the power 3 and 16 as 2 to the power Four. So for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, that means for 4 rows, we can say for nth figure, nth row, it will be 2 to the power n, and hence it is proved. Question 2b. By taking the sum of each row, we form the following series as 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16, and so many terms will be there. So it is a geometric series, we can write first term as 2 common ratio r is 4 by 2 that formula is any term divided by previous term and we found common ratio is greater than 1 they said nth term summation is 2046 they are asking how many terms are there that means what how many terms summation is 2046 
So this is following geometric series and the formula is a to the power a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 that is 2046. So we got the value. What are the value? From a series we wrote already first term a is 2, a common ratio r is 2 and we placed it. Then we just solve it normally, normal calculation and at last by the help of exponentials formula it, it came 10, 000, 1024 and by factorization we can write 2 to the power 10. In exponentials formula you find out in any exponential equation the bases are equal definitely power should be equal so we can write n is equal to 10 then sum, sum of 10 rows is 2046 this is the end of question number 2b then comes question number 3 it has three parts actually it has two parts they said summation k, to, k is equal to 1 to n and it is k cube is our function is equal to 784 according to the summations law we know if it is k cube we have to place k as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and up to n terms cause n belongs to natural number so instead of summation k is equal to 1 to n k cube we can write 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube and up to plus n cube this is a series series of what sum of cube of n natural numbers and we know a formula of it that formula is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus up to n cube is n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 according to the condition this is 784 and we applied the formula then by normal method by algebraic method we just solve it and we find out after factorizing we find out n's value comes 7 and negative 8 as it is a number of terms a negative 8 cannot be acceptable so the answer is n is equal to 7 in the second question they are asking to determine the summation of summation the summation of k square up to n terms means for n uh, n belongs to natural number set of natural number summation k is equal to 1 to n k square like just like previously we can say 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to plus n square and this is the, here another formula comes. What is that formula? We know sum of a square of n natural numbers that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by twice n plus 1 divided by 6. Here n indicates number of terms. So just like previously summation k is equal to 1 to the 2 n k square is equal to that expand expanded form then we applied the formula and n value is 7 that we already determined we placed here after solving we got the result summation k is equal to 1 to n square for k uh, sorry summation k equal to 1 to n the function is k square the value is 140 and this is the end of it thank you everyone keep in touch don't forget to subscribe and like this video